friends, it's Sage from the Saskatoon Public Library. In today's Sunday Crafternoon, we're going to make an easy craft activity using ingredients and things that you probably have around your house. So come along and let's get started. You'll need to find some bowls. So I found a bowl that has um, edges that are almost straight up instead of out, like a salad bowl. So, you know, your choice on size. And you need a smaller bowl. We're going to put the smaller one in the larger one. If you've got ice cube tray, this one's made of silicone and it's actually quite large. You can use that. You will need bird seed. And this um, bird seed is made up of shelled sunflowers and peanuts. And I got this mix from the uh, bird store nearby in our neighborhood. So you could probably just use peanuts or shelled sunflowers um, without the mix. You can be creative and that's what Google is for. <laughs> and I also have a bag of dried cranberries. I have water and you'll need yarn or string or ribbon, something to make a hook to hang our ornaments from. So after all of that, what are we making? We are making birdseed iced ornaments that you can hang outside for the birds to nibble on and have nourishment during this really cold weather. So let's get started. I'm going to use the big one first. So what you just need to do is put the smaller bowl inside the larger bowl and pour your um, craisins around. So we're going to just cover the bottom maybe by maybe a third of the way or just covering the bottom kind of just eyeball it the nice thing about the cranberries is that they're not completely dry hard they're kind of squishy so they're easy to press down and make a really good base so I've done that and we're pretty low tech around here today I don't have a camera from above but this is a very easy activity that you could do by yourself or do with your family or friends over a zoom call um, it's pretty easy so I figure we could I could walk you through the steps just by describing what I'm doing so the cranberries are in the first one and then you need to cut a piece of your yarn or string I've got twine which is a bit of a challenge because it's very curly <laughs> So you want to cut a, a, a length of string and tie a knot at the bottom of it so that you have a proper loop. So just like this. And then you press that into your layer that you've got. Now, I find that the cranberries work really well because as I mentioned, they're squishy. So I can push that loop or the bottom, actually it's the knot. I can push it down into the cranberries um, where it's anchored. So we've got the cranberries, we've got our loop, and now we can add the bird seed. So I put the bird seed in a measuring cup. It's easier to fill around the in, inside bowl. So I'm just gonna turn it a bit, and I'll just keep turning the bowl until it's all filled. Now I'm not gonna go all the way up to the top of my outside bowl. I've maybe done about half because we still wanna fill it with water. So I'm going to pour the water in and I'm only going to fill it to just when the water hits the top of the bird seed so that it's covered in water. There we go. Don't want it to be too high because this is going to be frozen when we put it outside and we want to make sure that the birds are able to peck away at the ice to get at the bird seed and the goodies inside. So that one is done. I'm gonna move that one to the side. And then I've got the silicone ice cube tray. So the same thing, I'm gonna use some cranberries and I'm gonna put them on the bottom and press them down a little bit. To make a good size base. There we go. And then I already have a loop that's pre-made. So I'm gonna press that in. Make sure that the knot is right in the bottom so that when it freezes, you'll be able to pull it out and it will be able to hang nicely outside on the hook. And then I'm going to add the bird seed. So here we go. So bird seed in there and then I'm going to add water on top of that. So here's the water. Perfect. All right. Now, I also have a heart-shaped tin, so I'm going to fill that as well 
with, um, I found some special berries that were on a tree from a friend. So I'm gonna put that in and we're gonna freeze it. So I think that's it for the craft. I'm gonna carefully take these to the freezer and put them in and I will be back in a few hours to show you what it looks like outside. Okay, see you in a bit. I'm popping back on because I forgot to mention, how do you get these out of the molds? Well, let me tell you, it's so easy. If you've used a silicone mode mold, it's so easy. All you have to do is put your fingers underneath and pop that ice cube out of the tray. So easy. If you're using a bowl, inside of a bowl, <laughs> when you take it out of the freezer, I would suggest filling the middle, the inside bowl, the smaller one, with a bit of hot water, just for a few seconds, and then just put your fingers on the outside of it and just wiggle it back and forth, like in a circle, like this, and it will pop right out. Easy. Then get a larger bowl or a cookie sheet and put some hot water, about this much, not very much, just the, in the bottom, just enough to kind of fill, to hit the bottom of, of your, your bowl that has the ice cube in it. Stick that on top and just give it a few seconds for the bowl to warm up. It doesn't take very long. Um, and all you have to do is just really gently give a little pull on your string loop and it should just come right out of the mold in one big fancy piece. And what I'm planning on doing is now putting my ice cube bird feeders into the backyard on what I call little Bo Peep poles into the, the snow bags. And hopefully the birds will come and enjoy their treats. Okay, see you in a bit. 